Welcome to the channel guys, VST Venus PC Tech S22 Ultra, Exynos 2200, Samsung S21 Ultra, Exynos 2100. But all of this doesn't really come into play for this video. What you see on the screen is what I want to talk about is. And if you're clever, right? But even if not, I'm gonna tell you guys. You can just see here, this red number here is the current refresh rate those phones operate and this small number here under the current average 80 or current average run is actually the frame per second and before i start the video i need to make this statement there is a difference between the refresh rate and the frames per second okay so let's pretend right now that the s22 ultra for some reason really has or works with 80 frames per second this means that the gpu card is rendering 80 frames each second, okay? But right now, if we take the red number, we have 24 hertz. This means that the display is actually producing 24 images every second. In this case here, the S21 Ultra, we have apparently 60 hertz refresh rate, which means that the screen produces 60 images each second, but we only run at a one FPS, which means only one frame per second. And I noticed, can get a bit messy, but I'll promise it's gonna get better while you watch this whole video. And do you know what else can get better, guys? You subscribing to this channel and helping me grow. Thank you very much. All right, as I've made now the clear distinction between the refresh rate and the frame per second, and etc., I want to throw at you some official numbers. Because you know, there has been a lot of a refresh rate controversy with the launch of the S22 series. Samsung claimed some things in the beginning. They had to then go on their websites and update the official specification. But right now, the official claims from the Samsung company is that the S22 and the S22 Plus can go down below to 48 hertz of refresh because they use the LPTO display. And the S22 Ultra, which I luckily own, this phone here, uses the LPTO2 display, it can go down to one hertz refresh rate, okay? Not frame per second, refresh rate. Now I have enabled all of these goodies just using standard tools from the developer options. If you don't know how that's done, just hit me up and I'll explain. And I wanna concentrate again on these two numbers. Right now we see that the S22 Ultra produces 60 frames per second, but is able to drop at a whooping 24 hertz refresh rate as to the S21 Ultra is using one frame per second, right? So the GPU card or the graphic card is just creating one frame per second and the screen is showing this one frame per second 60 times at a second, right? So this here is or should be a bit more effective because again, the GPU is not engaging to creating multiple frames. Now, those phones, guys, are bare bone phones, no SIM card, no navigation gestures, no Samsung account. I'm just keeping them like this for you so that I can run my test in the next few days before I really take the S22 Ultra and just make it as my primary phone because this is gonna be the future of this phone. And now, by the way, see, something made the phone to wake up and of course it had to bump the refresh rate. Now I have here the S Pen in my hand. See what will happen when I try to go close to my phone. Whoop, the moment the S22 Ultra registers the S Pen, boom. It immediately bumps the refresh rate to the 120. And by the way, this is done very, very quickly, guys. You can just see almost like immediately, right? This is really a very fast screen. See here, I'm just doing this one more time for you. Boom, the moment, you know, this pen gets closed and registered by the screen, it directly ups the refresh rate, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to go inside the weather in both phones, boom. 120, 120, 120, 120, right? So the graphic card was producing 120 frames per second and the refresh rate was also 120. But see here, the S22 Ultra start dropping the refresh rate to now 60 as to the S21 Ultra still keeping it at 120. Yeah, I just guess different type of technology, okay? Now, if I'm just kind of like to scroll, boom, you see everything's gonna get up again. Wait, Oop. Okay, now 60, 60. And by the way, we can also see that the frame rate is also being dropped. So this here, current average is the FPS, the frame rate per second. Again, guys, remember the difference between the frames per second and the refresh rate per second. Now inside this application, because here guys see we have moving animation, the refresh rate will not drop below 60. But what will happen if I just go again on my home screen and wait? And this here guys, I think is the first big news. 
and I can confirm that at least my S22 Ultra runs idle on 24 hertz refresh rate right but for some reason right it yeah the, the fps per second are still around 60 right the s21 ultra doesn't want to go down below 60 in this scenario as to the s22 ultra is doing this very very quickly and i'm gonna do some further tests guys i'm just gonna open right now the play store boom 120 120 okay immediately the S22 Ultra drops to 24. Like one scroll, okay, like this, 120, 120, wait, boom. Immediately consistent drop to 24 hertz refresh rate here. The S21 Ultra keeps it at 60, okay. Now let me just show you some other things, some very exciting things. I have downloaded some pictures. Let me just first open a very static black PNG picture. I'm gonna show it on full screen. Immediately, 24 hertz here here 60 hertz now what is also important guys because that's really a very black picture not a lot of things going around the gpu from the s22 ultra is using 34 frames per second and the gpu in the s22 ultra is using 33 so i mean you kind of get the idea like the lowest we go the more optimal performance we'll have because why the GPU will not really force himself to regenerate more frames. So what do we gain? We gain battery, right? And the time we just strike like this, guys, we are back in the game, right? It, it will mean, of course, the phone should be able to very fast resume all the operations. Now here, see, again, one touch, everything up to 120, 120, okay? And now when I go back and just open like a black screen, wait a bit, boom immediate drop to 24 hertz and here sadly only to 60 hertz same will happen with any other static picture so the color here is not really of importance right because again the gpu doesn't really care it just produces frames per second and then the screen has the operation to show these pictures to you for each second in this scenario we have 60 frames per second produced by the gpu and 24 times shown on the screen you know like refresh rate this here is an interesting test. I found a video made by this guy. I'm gonna put it in the link down below because maybe it's interesting. And this guy shoots at 24 FPS, 24p. And if I try to play it, guys, and you'll see something very interesting, I'm gonna play the video for you. And what will happen actually really blew my mind. What those phones are trying to do sometimes, and I think that's really clever. So right now, see here, guys, the S22 Ultra showing me 24, 25 frames per second. 24 times per second so it's like almost one to one this is really very fluid here we have the s21 ultra going just down to 48 hertz refresh which means that this picture right generated at 25 frames per second is shown to me 48 times per second right so here you can just see like a clear win from the s22 ultra and of course the lpto 2 display right now I was doing all kinds of tests. I was not able to really get this even below 24 hertz. Samsung claim that while you are getting some static pictures, you know, presented to the screen, and maybe this is, you know, sometimes maybe, you know, like if there is some magic in between those things, yeah, you can drop to one hertz. Now, no magic for me. This here is my next interesting finding. I'm just looking at a very famous Samsung 4K 60 FPS HDR video, right? You can just see there 4K Ultra HDR. And just pay attention, guys. Current average frame rate per second, 61. Here, 61, so it's absolutely the same. But this here, guys, really blew my mind. The S22 Ultra, while presenting HDR content on a bigger screen, is able to drop to 60 Hertz. And the S21 Ultra, locked all to 120 hertz which is kind of like double so you probably are already understanding where i want to go with this like this for sure is a bit more optimized and this should give you more gain right because the phone is using less resources and i know it's not much in this but you know if you take here something small and there's something small then maybe at the end you just get like 30 minutes more battery because remember the batteries are the same right now i know it's not the case right because we are at the very early life of exynos 2100 optimization but this year was a very interesting finding to be made while looking at hdr content the s21 ultra locks it to the 120 hertz as to here we only stay to 60. All right, guys, another example here, Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, 61 frames per second on the S22 Ultra, 60 hertz refresh rate, all right, and same here, 61 hertz 
and 61 FPS. I'm just gonna touch it again to activate all the extras, okay? Probably just try to play a bit around. While I was doing those tests, the S21 Ultra was able to just produce 31 FPS. Now it's not repeating this in front of the camera. Uh, so I thought it was like a bit of a different behavior, but okay, there is no different behavior. Like 60 Hertz and 60 FPS, and this is all very consistent. And now the UFO test, guys, you know, that's a very famous website, you know, testing refresh rate, making just sure that it's synchronized with what you can see on the screen. Right now, we have 60 frames per second here, 60 refresh rate, the same. And you can just see below, this is 60 FPS, this is 30 FPS, and this down below is 15 FPS, okay? Now what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to very quickly, you know, just exit to my home screen, wait a bit, wait, boom. It drops faster, the S22 Ultra compared to the S21 Ultra, and it just goes down to the 24 Hertz refresh rate, which I really hope is going to manifest into more battery life for us. The S21 Ultra, sadly, goes only to 60, right? So guys, this I think is the mystery unraveled. I was not able to just go down below the 24 Hertz refresh rate. I really hope that I try and manage to explain the difference between the refresh rate in Hertz, right? And the frame rate per second FPS so that you just know what it is and also how they do work together and showing some examples on the S22 Ultra and the S21 Ultra, guys. And before we close the video, please make sure to like it, subscribe for the channel, stay safe, VST over and bye.